Thank you for joining us today. In this video, we are going to explain Roger Federer training routines. So stay tuned because we believe these workouts are easy to emulate. So make sure you watch the whole video. It has a, had a bit of an evolution as you need to start applying this training as a so we begin by explaining his runnings. Running is a, a fundamental component of any upper strain routine. And Freda is no exception. Endurance is a critical element of tennis. Asthmatic can last for hours and require a lot of high so sustained energy output. Federer's running regimen typically include both steady state cardio workouts now and interval training which involves alternating between periods of high intensity running and recovery periods. By incorporating running into his training routine, Federer is able to improve his cardiovascular fitness, which allows him to sustain a high level of energy output of the course of a match. Running also helps to build leg strength and endurance, which is a crucial for his quitting powerful strokes. An explosive movement on the tennis court. So the stretch I hunt for done at home. Tennis is also a sport that requires exceptional eye hand coordination, as players must be able to track the trajectory of the ball and react quickly to hit with precision. Federer's training regimen includes a variety of drills and exercises designed to prove his eye hand coordination. As a ball throws, or with the guidance by his coach, or by practicing serve and turns. By honing his eye-hand coordination, Ferrer is able to react more quickly to his opponent's shots and execute his own strokes with greater precision. These skills also help him to anticipate where the ball is going to land and where he can give an advantage in terms of court position and shot selection. Lunges. Lunges are common access you know to many sports. Years, the tennis is no exception. This movement involves stepping forward with one step while bending on our right leg together. of the knee, which engages in muscles and legs, glutes and core. Federer incorporates lunges into his training routine in a variety of ways, such as performing walking lunges, static lunges, uh, and forward and lunges with weights. By incorporating lunges into his training regimen, Fed is able to develop strength and stability in his legs, which are critical for executing powerful strokes, quick movement to the court. Lunges are also help to improve his balance and coordination, which can enhance his overall performance on the tennis court. Footwork drills. Uh, our agility rules. Footwork is a critical, is another critical component of tennis, as the players must be able to move quickly and effectively, or efficiently around the court in order to execute their shots and respond to their opponent movement. Federal's training regimen includes a variety of footwork drills, uh, which can be ladder drills, cones, and agility drills. By practicing Footwork drills. Federer is able to move his foot, foot, or his, his foot speed, agility, and coordination. This will allow him to move more quickly, effectively around the court, which can give him an advantage over his opponents. Footwork drills also help to improve his balance and stability, which can reduce the risk of injury and improve his overall. Performance. Strength training using resistant bands. As you can see Roger Federer is using using resistant bands. Strength training is an important component of any adult training regimen, as it helps to build muscle mass, increase strength and power, and reduce the risk of injury. Federer incorporates a variety of strength training excess into his routine, including excess using resistant bands. Resistant bands are a versatile tool that can be used to perform a variety of exercises such as squats, lunges and rows. 
By using resistance bands, Fedra is able to target specific muscle groups uh, and that vary the intensity of his workouts. Uh, this can help him to build strength and power in his legs, arms and core, which are critical for executing powerful strokes and movement on the tennis court. Roger Federer is doing a very different rope skipping. Rope skipping is a vast tool exercise that can be done almost everywhere or anywhere. As you can see, Roger Federer is doing at the tennis court. Make it a convenient way for Federer to maintain his fitness even when he is on the road. So it requires also only a small space on the jab rope, which makes it easier to pack into his travel bag. Another thing is, this is a flex. This is flexibility. This flexibility is. This flexibility, sorry, allows him to maintain his fitness routine, regardless of where he is. Uh, where he is in a hotel room on a, or on a tennis course, like like now. In addition to his physical benefits, rope skipping can be uh, mentally challenging. It requires concentration, coordination, and even focus. All of which are important skill for tennis player to process. By practicing jump rope, by practicing jump rope, Federer is able to improve his mental toughness, develop the ability to stay focused even in a high-pressure situation on the tennis court. Furthermore, rope skipping can be can help reduce the risk of injury. Tennis is a physically demanding sport that places a lot of stress on a tennis player's body, particularly his Roger Federer's legs or on his feet. So rope skipping can help to strengthen these areas, uh, making Roger Federer less susceptible to injuries. Additionally, the excess can help uh, to improve Roger Federer's balance and coordination, which can help, which can also help prevent further injuries. Ultimately, it is Fed, Roger Federer's dedication to his craft and the willingness to try new exercise and training technique uh, that have helped him become one of the greatest tennis player of all time okay so those were some of the uh, fitness routine for the maestro we hope uh, that you have learned some new style of practice so uh, please continue to watch the next part which i believe is also critical for you yeah, now this part i'm going to explain Ready. But the federal training court level, uh, which include his forehand, backhand, and his, his tennis self practice with the guidance of his coach, Ivan Lubishish. And also, he's hitting with his uh, French player, Lucas Poil. So let's start with his forehand practice. Roger Federer's forehand is a powerful weapon that he uses to dominate opponents on a tennis court. However, what makes his forehand so unique is not just his power, but the way he executes it. Allow me to go deep into details and explain why Roger Federer is practicing his forehand and what makes it such an exceptional shot. To begin with, it's most it's, it's it is important to understand that the me mechanics of Federer's forehand. He uses an eastern grip, which is not as popular as semi-western grip used by many players today. The eastern grip is considered to be a bit old school, 
but Federer has mastered it and he used it to a great effect. The grip allows him to hit flat and powerful shots with great accuracy and give him control over the ball. So, compared to his semi-western grip, the eastern grip does not allow for such top spin on the ball. However, Federer compensates for this by using his technique to generate enough spin on the ball to make it bounce high and quick up off the court. He achieves this by hitting the ball with a slightly closed racket face, which impacts top speed on the ball. The result is a shot that has both power and speed. It, it, uh, it, it makes it difficult uh, for opponents to return this shot. As part from his technique, uh, what makes Federer's form so unique is the way he executed. As I can, I can repeat the same part, his form looks loose and effortless, and effortless, and effortless. Sorry, as he is not exact much effort at all. This is, due, this is due to his exceptional timing and coordination, which allows him to hit the ball cleanly and smooth, smooth and smoothly. It allows him to squeeze his shot, making it difficult for his opponent to anticipate where he'll hit the ball next. Federer's lose an effortless forehand it results to his exceptional athleticism and physical fitness. He has a great footwork and is always in position to hit his shots. His flexibility allows him to, to hit the shots, his shot from awkward positions. And his agility allows him to move around with the, around the court quickly and effectively and efficiently all these factors contribute to ability to the ability to hit his forehand with the great ease and fluidity another point is um or another factor is that makes federal's forehand so unique is his mental approach to his to the test game he know for his high level confidence which allows him to make to take risk and play with a ease of with a sense of freedom. This is particularly evidently to his forehand, where he is willing to go for winners and take a difficult shots with confidence. Uh, allows him his sorry his confidence allows him to go and to improve and to improvise and come up with creative shots such as famous trainer that he hit in the 209 years open. His sub is a major part of his game. He has a fluid motion and relatively quick sub, which he has been working on for many years. Again, Allow me to explore why, why Fedra uh, practices himself as such as much and how it has helped him become one of the best players in the world. Firstly, it is important to understand the importance of his self in tennis. The self is the starting shot of every, of every point, and a good self can set a player up an easy point or put the pressure on the opponent right from the beginning. As a strong serve is particularly important for players who has who have a more offensive game style, like Roger Federer. His serve is a weapon that can 
be, be used to dominate his opponent and control the, the space the pace of the game. Fedra serve is particularly unique because of fluid motion and amount of leg action he puts into it. He understand bounce, bounce he understand he does not bounce the ball, sorry. Hundred of times like some players do. But he keeps his toes basically in the same place for the first don't second serve. And for the first and second serve. His consistency allows him to execute his serve more effectively and make it harder for his opponent to read and serve. Really, really serve, sorry. Another key aspect of Federer's serve is the back arc. He has a very bounced arc in his back, which allows him uh, to generate power, more power and spin on the ball. This is particularly important for his second serve where he needs to put more spin on the ball to, say, to ensure that it lands in the tennis court. The back arc also helps him to maintain good posture and throughout his serve, which is important for preventing further injuries. Federer's leg action is also a major factor in surf. He uses a lot of leg drive a leg a, a, a lot of leg drive to generate power and That's speed on the ball on the really which is particularly important when he's serving down the tee there's time to slow there's a time in slow motion if you look at his serve closer during the impact the where the both knee seem to particularly come up to his chest the leg drive also helps him to maintain his balance and control during his serve, which is a crucial for um, for accuracy. So let's jump back to his question. So why does Fedra practice self so as such? As so so much, sorry. The answer is simple because it's such an important part of his game. He knows that his serve uh, is the biggest strength and, the, and he wants to make sure that he can execute it consistently and effectively. So this, uh, this will require a lot of practice and repetition both and on and off the court. In recent times, Roger Federer has spoken in the past about how he focuses on the small details of his self during the practice. He pays close attention to his footwork, his grips, his grip, and his toss, making sure that everything is perfect before he starts yeah, hitting full serves. This attention to detail is what sets him apart from other players and allows him to constantly hit the this hit his spot hit his short his spot on the court uh, in addition to his practice himself on the court Federer also does some work off the court to improve himself he's announcing the break he works on in practice it's always uh, better he, he works with his coach uh, to analyze like an his technique and identify any areas where he can improve he also does a lot of strength and coordination work, conditioning work, to make sure that he has the he has the physicality, the physical ability, sorry, to generate power and speed on his serve. Another, another one, another reason why Federer serve is so effective is because he is constantly involving and adapting his technique. He is not a, he is <laughs> not afraid to try new things and make changes on his serve, even if it means sacrificing some short-term results. For example, in 2016, he worked with his coach to change his grip on his second serve, which allowed him to put more spin and on the ball and make it more difficult for his opponent to attack. Federal commitment to his serve has paid off in a big way. 
big way over big yes he has won 20 grand slams single titles including eight wimbledon titles and even more and has been ranked in the world number one in main ten in main single tennis by association of tennis professionals atp a record of 33 20 weeks his serve has played a major role in his success on the tennis court and he has help him to dominate his opponent and win more win some biggest matches in tennis history but it's not just about his about the numbers Federer, it is his serve uh serve uh, his serve is also a thing of beauty it has a relaxed graceful motion that looks effortlessly when it hits it when he hits it, but it, it is actually the result of years and hard work of practice. Federer's serve is often compared to work of art, and many tennis fans consider it to be one of the most beautiful serve in the game. Federer's serve is also, serve is also a key part of his mental game. When, it, when he hits his, his serve, he uh, well, he feels confident and, and in control of the match. This, this confidence allows him to make sh more risk and he, uh, be more aggressive nope. with his shots, which can intimidate his opponent and put them on the defensive. Federer's serve is not just, uh, it's not just physical weapon, it's also a psychological one. Jumping to another section of practice. Now, now we are going to focus to his forehand. There are a number of reasons why Roger Federer might be practicing his backhand. This reason could, be inclu could include his desire to improve the accuracy and power of the shot, uh, which needs to stay competitive against other top players in the game, or his desire to stay injury free while playing at the highest level of the sport. One of the primary reasons why Federer might be practicing his backhand is to improve his accuracy and power. Well, um, he's ready to know. He's, he's always he has been he has been, and while he is already known for his having one of the best backhand in the game, there is always room for improvement. Particularly, his opponent continue, which will continue to develop new strategies and techniques. To countering his shot by practicing his backhand, Federer can work on refining his technique, adjusting his foot and timing, footwork and timing, and building the strength and endurance needed to hit the ball with great force and accuracy. So another reason why Federer might be practicing his backhand is to stay competitive against other top players in the game. While, is, uh, while he has already achieved legendary status as a tennis player, there is always a new generation of up-and-coming players looking to make, take his, his place of, uh, of the top of the rankings. So, by continuing refining his, his skills and staying ahead of, of the curve in terms of new strategies and tactics, Fedra can uh, stay competitive and continue to dominate the game for years to come. Finally, Fedra might be practicing his backhand to stay injury free while playing at the highest level of the sport. Uh, this tennis is a physical demanding game and that re it requires a great deal of strength speed and agility particularly at the high on the professional level so by making by working on the back on his backhand and developing a more well run rounded game Fedra can reduce his risk of injury and stay on the court for longer periods of time allowing to continue to compete competing at the highest level of the sport so there are many other um, 
things we, we, we can continue to explain the benefits why Alja Fedra is practicing and why you should consider practicing your foca, your backhand. Uh, there are many different techniques that Fedra might be using to his practice. He is practicing his backhand, depending on his specific goals needs. For example, he might be focusing on his hitting more topspin backhands, which are particularly uh, effective on fast court. Uh, where the ball tends, sorry, to bounce higher and faster. This is effectively, it is effectively, he might be working on his slice backhand, which is a shot that can be, can, can, use to change, can, can be used to change the space and direction of the ball, makes it dif difficult for opponents to anticipate his next move. So another thing I can add and add and add just to make you get something out of this video. Another technique that Fedra might be using to practice his backhand is the flick backhand. Yes, which is a shot that is executed you will have to hit second serve with a little flick down in the score. of wrist. This technique can be particularly effective uh, when used to counter to balance and extension or uh, the balance or extension, allowing Fedor to hit the ball with even power, get a power and accuracy. By mastering his technique, he can add more weapon more to his already formidable arsenal and keep his opponent guessing game, to his next move. One aspect of his approach is the importance of uh, rest during training session. Main, you can see uh, from this video, Roger Ferrer takes some short rest after some worker routine orders after some time. I think you should also rest you know, when you're practicing on the tennis court or working out on the, on the gym. You need to rest, man. You need to rest. So rest is an essential component of any training on any any training program regardless of sport or activity you, you are at so when we exercise or or engage in physical activity our muscles are subjected to stress and strain uh, which can cause microscopic damage to the muscle fiber i want to repeat that again uh, when we exercise or we engage in physical activity, our muscles are subjected to stress and gain. I think you've get that part. Which can cause microscopic damage to our muscle fibers. This is important, guys. This is so important. This is a natural part of the process of building strength and endurance. Rest. But it also requires adequate rest and recovery time to allow the muscle and repair and repair themselves. That's is so important. So during training session, uh, Fedor takes breaks to rest his muscles and give them time to recover. So this allows him to maximize his effectiveness of his training by avoiding overuse of uh, of overuse of injuries uh, and maximizing yeah. the risk yeah. of burnout or fatigue. So additionally, taking regular breaks during training can also help prevent mental fatigue. That's that's okay, and keep Fedra. Uh, Roger Federer focus and motivate throughout the work or all the training session. So another reason why Federer may rest during his training is to allow his body to adapt to the demands of the sport. Tennis, you know, is a physically demanding sport. 
that requires a combination of strength, not just strength, a high performance strength, speed and high quality agility and endurance body. So by taking breaks during training, my friend Roger Federer is able to give his body enough time to adjust to the demand of sport uh, and building the specific skills and attributes needed to excel on the court. Finally, rest during training or practice or workout or any other fitness activity is also an important aspect to prevent injury. Tennis players are particularly or known or susceptible to injuries due to the repetitive and high impact nature of the sport. By taking regular so by taking regular rest you are assured your body will be free from damage of injuries. Uh, in conclusion Rest is an essential component of Roger Federer's training regimen and it plays, it plays a very crucial role in allowing him to maintain his high level of performance on the tennis court. By taking regular breaks and allowing it allows his body and mind to recover. Federer is, is able to avoid injury and prevent burnout and maintain a healthy balance between training and resting. Aspiring athletes can learn from his example and incorporate rest to their training the program head, or regimen. <laughs> no. If you enjoyed watching for the federal training, High performance train, tennis training at the court level view. We encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Three so, months. by subscribing, you'll be the first to know about our latest video and updates, and it will be also help us to grow our community for passionate tennis fun. We also invite you to leave a comment below on this video, sharing your own thoughts, feedback. Oh, no, no and suggestion. Your comments will help us to understand what you like and what you want to see more from us. And they also help us to create a sense of community among our viewers. No, no, you, you decided I would... Lastly, we will be grateful if you could share yeah. this video with your friends, no, four, three, for family and fellow tennis enthusiasts who may need this work by sharing our content, you help us to reach no, no, no. new audience <laughs> and to inspire even more people <laughs> with the beauty and excitement ex 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 of this part of tennis. In conclusion, we want to once again express our sincere gratitude to everyone who has watched, liked and commented on us and shared our latest video. Your support means the world to us. And we we'll hope to continue bringing you a high quality tennis content Thank you everybody for, for years and years to come. Thank you so much.